Okay, guys, we need to avoid Max Grow Team. Everyone here who's not heard of this guy, if you have, then you don't really need to watch this video. Unless there's things that you haven't heard about this guy that he's done. Anywho, what this guy is supposed to be known for is making WWE and Roblox videos, which doesn't seem bad. His content doesn't seem that bad, right? You know, let's just watch his shorts, for example. Okay, yeah, that's never mind. That's pretty bad. Anyways, um, so yeah. And he makes he made a video about me because for I have no idea why. But then a while back he made a video about me for some reason. And basically the quote unquote reason so he has a friend named bald creek well let me show you his community post this guy bald creek nope not him this guy and he is basically copying creek craft's name but putting bald creek instead anyways um his content he basically makes roblox beatbox battles like ybb but roblox youtubers and stuff like that but doesn't which doesn't sound bad or stolen First of all, he doesn't even talk in his beatbox battles. He just has dialogue, which is boring. I don't know how you call that good editing when, because, you know, if you don't read it, it says who's better at editing. I put myself, not because I'm biased, because I believe I'm the better editor. I've seen his videos. I've seen him edit. He is not that good at editing. I'm sorry. That's just it. If we're putting me against, like, someone like who? Like, Fortnite YouTuber, like, Fearless, for example, who doesn't upload anymore for some reason. I would say fearless because he up, he edits really good. But then again, why would you put me up against him? He's a big YouTuber with a lot of subscribers. I'm not the smallest YouTuber, but I only have like 2,000 subscribers, which is good. But it's not like, like 9 million or something like that. Anyways, so then after I exposed him about that, he and Max Grill Team and all of this other, his other friends started harassing me, bothering me. And even giving me death threats. And then has the nerve to apologize to me. And says he'll be on my side with another YouTuber I've been having beef with. But we're done with the beef. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's about Rainbow Sonic. But we're, we're, I'm done having beef with him. So we don't have to worry about him. He's That's it. We don't have to deal with him. So, yeah. And then he made this another community post. I told him. I Listen, look, look, look. I don't even know if I... I see, I even said, I said, stop adding me in polls. He added me in a poll. I said, who's funnier? I've seen his videos. He just uses memes. Now, you might be wondering, memes is funny. Yes, they are funny. But I don't have to use memes to be funny. This guy uses like 10,000 memes in one video just to make it funny. Now, if you were to put it, who's the better editor? Maybe I would say this guy. Maybe. 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 Because he does gaming videos and stuff like that. He has, oh, I don't know how many videos, but... Yeah, and then I told him, and what does he do? He makes another community post, and guess who wins the community post? I'm going to vote him, and I win the community post. I don't even use my alts. I barely have any alt accounts. I only have the Pulter Pup account, and the Best Buds account, and the Sonic account. Anyways, so people voted me because clearly, no offense, Actually, yes, offense. I'm the better YouTuber. Listen, I'm not even trying to be like, oh, you're just being biased because it's you. No, he literally just harasses people. He just makes Roblox videos. He doesn't even talk. If he talks in his videos and he reveals his voice, then okay. But he doesn't do that. He doesn't. He just, just you know, he just hides behind his little screen, pushing all these buttons just to push. I mean, sorry, not pushing all these buttons, pushing other people's buttons to piss them off. So let's now look at his community post. I have no idea what this is. He just um, basically, I think he's just hating on someone. I have no idea. So he's like, Aspen Marley, fight us for no reason. He hasn't done nothing. I haven't seen any proof. Look, you can't see anything like Aspen Marley you know, whatever. No, you can't see that because he has not done anything to him. He has not done anything to him. And then he wants to freaking start harassing him for no reason. Let's see the comments. I even said it. All you do is start beef. And then this person named Family Channel who's... Oh, yeah. And I have another thing I have to tell you. He brainwashes people. 
And you might be wondering, how does that make sense? How does a little kid on Roblox behind a screen harassing people brainwash kids? Well, apparently he has quote unquote friends that um you know uh that help him harass other people. Um but yeah, he's basically brainwashed people. And you know what I'm wondering, how does this guy brainwash? She basically goes on my channel, or she, I have no idea, and starts saying that Max Squirrel Team was better. First of all, I have more subscribers than it. Second of all, I don't harass people. Third of all, I actually do a like use my voice and I don't and I do original content. You might be wondering, but you do LFB, but that's a that's like cartoon beatbox battles. It's just a this only similarity is that it's in a ring. And it's a beatbox series. I only do LFBB because my fans like it. If my fans didn't like it, I probably wouldn't be doing it. But my fans like it. So I'm going to do it because it's what I have to do. Even this guy said, he said, I would like if you will leave Aspen alone. We aren't going to fight you. Gr we're going to fight you. Grow up and leave us alone. No matter what you do, we're just going to block or hide your... Hot or hide. You best if you move on. Have a good day. See, this guy sleepy. I said W sleepy. I'm pretty sure. He, this guy put it in the, or girl, I don't know. Just going to say guy because it doesn't matter. Is a W person. He literally said it in a polite way. He literally pointed out the truth. And, you know, he, that's pretty much it. Yeah, he just said the truth and he didn't say it in a rude way. And they still don't listen. Now he made a community post on me once again saying, Luigi fan, are you ready? And I'm like, am I ready for what? I said, for what? To deal with your bull crap? Yeah, no thanks. Because I don't want to deal with this guy. I don't want to deal with this guy. And then he's like, Kilo, be careful. Just bothering people, like mentioning them just doesn't leave people alone. Now, I don't think I said this, but I think, personally, I think that this guy... When he was little, his parents either set him up for adoption, abused him, or didn't love him. Either. Either or. Doesn't matter. I don't know for sure. That might not be true, but I think that. Because what other reason would there be to start hating on people for absolutely no reason? At least give a reason, but he doesn't even give a reason. He's just like... Ooh, I'm just going to start hating on people. And then I'm going to brainwash all the little kids so they can think I am so cool and such a good person. And then they can help me hate on the other people. Which basically, that's what he's doing. So now let's read this community post. He says, we have got a Luigi fan problem. We've got an Atomic Place problem. We've got an Aquila problem. we got an Aspen problem. we got a Summit Jack problem. We have a Nod Cakes problem. And then this guy, Kilometers, even like a lot of people are saying it. Of course, his friend Brenard returns... What kind of name is that? Says, I can beat them all up in one hand. First of all, how are you going to beat us up? You don't even know where we live. You don't even know who we really are. So how are you going to beat us up in a WWE game? That doesn't change anything. All you guys are doing is just playing a game and making custom characters of us and then beating them up. That's literally all you're doing, which is basically what a five-year-old would probably do thinking that they achieved something. You, uh, probably a f not even not even a five-year-old probably would think beating someone in a wwe match is beating them up maybe but it's not even a seven or six-year-old bottom line it's just they act so immature and stupid and then i said well i don't know if i said anything oh yeah he said this this black sonic said Whenever someone says leave us alone, we do the exact opposite. Yeah, no shot, actually. No shot. At least, at least, at least they're admitting it instead of saying, oh, we're not bad people. Y'all annoyed us. At least. But Max Squirrel Team isn't even saying that. That's his friends who are saying that. And then he says, yeah. And then he, and then Kilometer says, yeah, but yeah, because you guys are mean and you just harass people for fun, which is straight facts. They literally just harass people for fun. It's straight facts, bro. And I'm glad that there's people who actually realize and don't just start, you know, believing him just because he plays Roblox or something like that. And, uh, yeah, and then his friends make some dumb excuses. Like, for example, he said, I made a who's better at um, who's the better YouTuber. And I said me because I said better beatboxing skills. 
I'd have better beatbox skills. I never heard him beatbox. And then some other guy redid my remade re-uploaded my video and then said made him win. He said beatboxing kills him and then he played a video of him, his avatar on a screen with Pennywise's beatbox solo playing in the background. And then he calls him a better beatboxer. When it wasn't even his beatbox. If you were talking about me versus Verbal Ace, yes, I would say Verbal Ace is a better beatboxer. He has more experience and you know yeah. And he has better skills. That doesn't mean I'm not a good beatboxer, but Verbal Ace is better. Anyways, and I'm a mini, and I'm not saying that because I love Verbal Ace. It's true. He has more experience, and I have less experience. I've been beatboxing for, like, almost four years. He's been beatboxing for, like, I don't know, over ten years or so. I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, he said Ball Creek versus... and. Drake Angel versus Luigi Van and Killo, making all these matchups for absolutely no reason, thinking he's gonna achieve something. And it's just stupid, man. It's just stupid. And it's just the stupidest part is that people are actually believing him and actually like going for his tricks and just, oh man. So, bottom line of this video, just don't, like, just stay away from this guy. And if you ever see him, just, yeah, just, yeah, pretty much that's it. Just block him and stay away from him. That's